दे टॉक अबाउट यू नो ये किशोर साहब के क्या बढ़िया गाने होते हैं लेकिन कोई भी गाना सिर्फ सिंगर ने नहीं बनाया है उसके साथ देर आर कंपोजर्स देर आर लिरिक्स राइटर्स एयर रहमान साहब वॉज नॉट अवेयर वेन हमा हमा वॉज रिक्रिएटेड यू आर प्लेइंग आर सॉन्ग फेयरली वी शुड बी पेड फेयरली रेडियो चैनल स्टिल डोंट पे रॉयल्टी फॉर द सॉन्ग्स दे प्ले हम लोग हर रोज ही देख रहे हैं कि ये ए का जो इस्तेमाल है ये बहुत एडवांस होता जा रहा है इट विल बी केस इट विल बी केस इफ नॉट कंट्रोल्ड इमीडिएटली डीप फेक इज ऑल्सो वेरी स्केरी कल ही मैंने देखा सम विराट कोहली डीप फेक इज गोइंग अराउंड स्ट्राइक इज ऑलवेज द लास्ट ऑप्शन डब्ल्यू जी एस स्ट्राइक हैज गिवेन अस लॉट ऑफ होप अपने तरह से हम लोग डिमांड रख रहे हैं देर हैज टू बी मिनिमम फीस फॉर द राइटर्स फॉर द लिरिक्स राइटर्स एक जो बेसिक मिनिमम गारंटी होती है कि इतना आपको मिलेगा ही वरुण रोवर वेलकम टू सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन जी नमस्कार विशाल जी कैसे हैं बहुत अच्छे हैं और वेरी एक्साइटेड टू टॉक टू यू यू आल्सो बिकम नाउ फिल्म मेकर अ फिल्म डायरेक्टर एंड हम उसके बारे में भी बात करेंगे बट टू स्टार्ट विद वरुण आई पी आर एस रिसेंटली लॉन्च माई म्यूजिक माई राइट कैंपेन एंड यू बिन वेरी वेमेंटली टॉकिंग अबाउट अबाउट द कैंपेन यू आर ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ एन इवेंट दैट वॉज दैट वॉज हेल्ड लास्ट वीक इन मुंबई विद मिस्टर प्यूरपुरी please tell us more about this campaign which actually aims to bring awareness about the uh, the rights of the creators uh, we have been doing this for a long time and it's strange that we still have to fight i mean there was a time in the 50s when sahir sahab had to fight to to get the credit given to lyrics writers on radio on all india radio and uh, it's uh, 70 years later we are still fighting for our rights for our credits for our fair Uh, pay for fair play that is also another you know another slogan uh, by iprs fair pay for fair play if you are playing our songs fairly we should be paid fairly for the for the thing so so the thing is uh, the fight is on multiple levels one is which is the top most uh, important fight we are uh, in the middle of is the moral rights of the song the moral rights of the the morality of the society that you know that should acknowledge us that should acknowledge our contribution to a song people should not talk about the song they like as if only the singer has created the song they talk about you know ye kishor sahab ke kya badhiya gaane hote hain ya hai na aap theek hai kishor sahab ka legend hai aur hum sab unke bhakt hain लेकिन कोई भी गाना सिर्फ सिंगर ने नहीं बनाया है उसके साथ देर आर कंपोजर्स देर आर लिरिक्स राइटर्स अटैच सो अ सॉन्ग इज एक्चुअली द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दीज थ्री पीपल टुगेदर दे शेयर द मॉरल राइट्स दे शेयर द लीगल राइट्स टू द सॉन्ग एट सम पॉइंट वी गिव द लीगल राइट्स एज इन द कॉपी राइट ऑफ द सॉन्ग वेन वी यू नो वेन वी राइट द सॉन्ग फॉर अ फिल्म द प्रोड्यूसर ओन्स द कॉपी राइट बट द मॉरल राइट्स ऑफ द सॉन्ग स्टिल स्टे विद अस सो इफ अ सॉन्ग इज played somewhere we have to get the royalty if the if a song is recreated remixed in another era we have seen so many examples where the lyrics writer is not even aware even i think a r rahman saab was not aware when hama hama was recreated for a film and he was not very happy with the way the you know his legendary song was recreated because at that time they bought the rights of the song and then they felt no uh, need to inform the composer or the lyrics writer ki aapka gaane ka hum ek naya version bana rahe hain so these are the things so the fight is on first the moral rights the authority we have over the song even if we have sold the copyright people should acknowledge that we are the creator second is paying fairly for that if you are recreating a song if you are playing it somewhere radio channels still don't pay royalty for the songs they play the entire business model is music and they say we can't pay royalty because we are promoting the song they are not then, so then kaun se then jo jo gaane play hote hain music uh, radio channels pe so who gets paid then and how can then they have access to so many songs even some of the indie singers are not going on radio yeah so they don't pay royalty they buy the songs on a lump sum basis on an annual basis from the music companies to wo company ki library wo lete hain but then that's a settlement that happens between the music company and the uh, and the radio channel but the lyrics writer and composer who are the creators of the song do not get anything do not get any royalty in fact recently so bombay high court the case yes, was yes. going on for 10 years where the 
the radio companies were saying we won't give royalty bombay high court has now given the verdict that royalties have to be paid even if you are saying you know technically you are promoting the song but your entire business model you are earning ad revenues you yeah. are actually paying the music company also so you know this is something you need to pay for but it doesn't come under the the act where royalty has to be taken so that is the fight we are still fighting with radio channels which sahir sahab was fighting 70 years ago so it's very frustrating on many levels well it's a different aspect you're highlighting for me i was thinking and i actually believe that you know radio has a, a big role to play today because just so much of music has been produced every day yeah. and i think it's the it's the responsibility of radio radio jockeys to create nice good songs and give it to public irrespective of it has come from uh, an indie label or by a big music company don't yeah. you think so? yeah and radio yeah the idea is for the radio and radio has always been the most important part of everyone's music journey at least for till our generation where we mood maker it has always been the mood maker of the nation yeah and we discovered so many songs and we fell in love with music through radio and uh, of course radio channels are still doing a great job in in playing music all day long uh, in a non distract uh, non distractory way where you are not you know watching it you are playing and you are maybe running you are in a car or something so wo hai but i think the the problem still comes with not respecting the creators enough you respect the music you love the music you say you are a music buff so big that you are working in a field which is about music and uh, still there is no uh, genuine respect by the music companies and radio jockeys are only the employees so i don't blame them for not giving us royalties but the music the radio companies the owners the jo hamesha se jo purani filmon mein ek stereotype hota tha seth ka lala ka uh, na industrialist ka 70s ki filmon mein jo aaye industrialist jo uh, garib mil mazdoor ko exploit karte the wo abhi bhi ho raha hai bas wo mazdoor bhi badal gaye hain aur mil malik bhi badal gaye hain bas ho raha hai wo so then you know, according to a report that was settled in the music creator economy the rise of music publishing in india india generates over 20000 original songs annually and indirectly generating rupees 12000 crore in revenue each year do you think wow. campaigns like this uh, will empower more creators resulting in more income to the music creators with the help of iprs and are there any creators do you think there still creators who are not aware of their rights yeah a lot of them i still keep meeting uh, you know composers or lyrics writers new lyrics writers who have no idea that they have to register for iprs because no one even gave them a sense ki ye royalty milti hai aur royalty aapka haq hai aur aapko matlab legal right hai wo uh, it's an inalienable right even if you sign a paper saying main apni royalty isko deta hu aaj se wo meri royalty jo hai music company hi rakhegi even if i sign it it won't stand in the court of law so even if i want i can't give my royalties to someone else so how can someone snatch it but that's the sense everyone has been given that you don't deserve royalty you won't earn royalty so a lot of creators are not aware a lot of uh, um, these set set log malik log they exploit that fact that creators don't know so jo royalty ka system hota hai na wo jata hamare naam pe hai but agar wo mera naam wahan nahi likha hai ya maine claim nahi kiya hai to wo kuch technicalities hain jiska wo log fayda uthate hain ki wo apne naam se likhwa lete hain no one contests ki ye lyrics writer hai bhi jisne gana likha tha aur wo contest hi nahi karega kabhi to after a period it goes to them it starts going to them so that is the the trick they use the, the a lot of people so i think no. right ka janna bada zaruri hai aur phir uske liye ikatthe hokar ladna bada zaruri hai so Indeed. you know like you mentioned ki arman wasn't happy when uh, hamma hamma was recreated you know mm-hmm. today it is being said that in in the 21st century artificial intelligence is the new challenge that the world need to understand and embrace, embrace especially the creative community Ji. right now is really taking baby, baby steps like very recently i saw a news in which sp balasubramanian son 
has sent a legal notice to the team of the film Kida Kola for using the the voice of the legendary singer through AI or deep fake. Yeah. Also, because of the film, I have denied using S. P. Bala Subramanian, Subramanian's voice. But the question is how IPR as a as a body who is responsible for providing royalties to composers and song songwriters, how they are planning to regulate the use of AI in the music making process. Yeah, this is I think a huge challenge uh, because we are seeing every day that the use of AI is very advanced. Ja hai. Matlab, it, there is, I have no doubt about this thing that within maybe two years, we will have as close to Kishore Kumar and Mohammed Rafi voices as, as if they are original generated by AI. Because now the quality is coming, that is not bad at all. I saw someone recreate uh, Lutput Gaya from Dunkey in Mohammed yes. Rafi's voice. Yes. You saw that, right? It's, it's kind of shocking. It's very scary also. Very exciting also, if done ethically, if used ethically. But I'm saying, do, do you think there's a right now there's a need for government to intervene and 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 need for all the it. interested bodies to to sit together and devise rules and make it ethical. It can't go on like this uh, because it will be chaos. It will be chaos if not controlled immediately. And I'm totally for use of AI to create whatever you want to create, but it has to be done in full uh, uh, disclosure as if as in aapko pata hona chahiye, AI generated hai. Aapko pata hona chahiye ki iske jo payment aari hai, wo kisko ja rahi hai. Agar aapne Kishore Kumar sahab ki awaaz banai hai, to wo you can't own it. You can't say ki mene bana liya apne software se, ab iske paise mein loonga. You have to find a way to to reimburse or you know to pay to Kishore Kumar's family or whoever is in charge of the of the voice also and then it's a new very new territory but I think yes you are right we need to move very quickly we need to make laws we need to make laws that are uh, that are that understand the creativity also, that understand the, the curiosity of people also to create these kind of programs where you can sing any song, Kishore Sahib or Lata Ji, or you know, Kisi Ki Bhi Aawaz Me Khel Segal, or so that should also be done. In the same way, what are the morals, what are the royalty, what are the use, what are the use, what are the misuse, which has happened many times, that misuse is also happening, कोई अश्लील चीजें बना रहे हैं लोग जैसा कि आई थिंक टेलर स्विफ्ट के साथ अभी टेलर स्विफ्ट की फोटोज को एआई जनरेटेड एंड दे क्रिएटेड यू नो हॉरिबली डिस्गस्टिंग इमेजेस यूजिंग टेलर स्विफ्ट्स व्हाटएवर इमेज विद एआई सो दोस दोस बाउंड्रीज हैव टू बी क्रिएटेड and very quickly. Otherwise, it is going to be till they are created. I know uh, it's going to be chaotic for the next one. Itni jaldi to kuch hone wala nahi hai. Ek saal mein hi dhere dhere sab jaagenge aur uske misuse or deep fake is also very scary. Kali maine dekha some Virat Kohli deep fake is going around. He's selling some random product and it's a to kafi mushkil scenario. Also, you mean you need consent, respect, and remuneration to be Absolutely. fixed. For, Absolutely. That's what the way forward for using AI, right? Yeah, yeah. very nicely put. So, consent, respect, and remuneration. Yes. And sure. ethics, if we add that into the mix. Now, also, according to another report, artists may soon be paid for the display of their lyrics, which means music streaming platform that display lyrics of the songs while the song is being played on these, uh, some of the music streaming platforms. And IPRS is actually, again, uh, taking the lead. Do, do uh, all music streaming platforms pay for their music, which get consumed on these platforms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So OTT, uh, as in the streaming platforms, uh, music platforms, they do pay. And lyrics feature is a lovely feature. And I was already thinking a few months ago that it should be a paid thing. It should get someone paid because you are writing the lyrics. Now, lyrics are also becoming, you are not just listening to the music, you are reading the lyrics also. So they have become a face of the song in a way yes. on a screen. Aap kahin bhi jate hai, aap Spotify or YouTube music, mein, aap jate hai, there is a lyrics ka tab niche. 
गाने के साथ डिस्प्ले होता है यू सिंग अलोंग यू रीड अलोंग इट हैज बिकम एन आइडेंटिटी इन इट सेल्फ एंड इट शुड बी uh uh you know it should result in some kind of royalties and it should result in more respect also i feel that is a good thing that lyrics are being displayed so people have a tangible thing to see it's not lyrics is not something abstract playing with the song wo tangible ho gaya hai because now you can read it along and, and understand what is what the singer is uh, singing या तो वो मेरे लिए बड़ा आसान अब जाके मैं आज तक जिंदगी में अंग्रेजी गाने में नहीं सुन पाया था क्योंकि मुझे समझ नहीं आते थे वो क्या बोल रहे हैं अब जाके आई कैन रीड एंड आई हैव स्टार्टेड यू नो फॉलोइंग सम इंग्लिश म्यूजिक क्योंकि साथ में वो लिरिक्स होता है तो समझ आता है कि अच्छा क्या बोल रहे हैं एक बहुत अच्छा अच्छा किस्सा है अबाउट दिस लिरिक्स व्हिच ऑफन गेट मिसअंडरस्टूड बाय सम ऑफ द ऑडियंसेस इन वन ऑफ द टेलर स्विफ्ट इंटरव्यू शी सेड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम उनका गाना ब्लैंक स्पेस Yeah, yeah. We talked uh-huh. about ex lovers. So uh-huh. it sounds like uh, uh, Starbucks lover. And she said, "I thought people used to think she's talking about Starbucks, but it was ex lovers." Yeah. Oh wow. Acha. Uh-huh. Blank space. To very Kamal ka gana. I love that song and uh, one of her, I think, most favorite, uh, famous songs also uh, globally. सबसे बड़ा हिट है उनका. But yeah, lovely lyrics. You know, Spotify paid. Uh, Nine billion dollars to music industry in twenty two twenty three. See, more money will be coming to creators of music in future in India. Do you see that happening? Yeah, I hope that happens, and yeah, I can see that happening if things go in the right direction, and if there are, you know, there is again constant advocacy and constant uh, demand for our rights by bodies like IPRS. If and if we stay united. i do see that happening because and it is very important for uh for musicians because we know of so many musicians in the past in the 70s and 80s legends like jaydev sahab who actually you know uh, did not their last few years were spent in poverty there was no system to protect our uh, artists they are in the prime and you know those 20 30 years they are earning but then once you stop working once uh, you sometimes you can't catch up with the trends as you know as happened with rd burman sahab also in the last decade of the 80s it becomes very difficult for artists to, to survive because they don't know any other skills they are not like they are not good business people also ki acha paise kahin laga diye ek restaurant khol liya ya kuch ho gaya most of us are not so we need that support from the society ki aapne jab hamare gaane aap sun to rahe ho aur aaj bhi enjoy kar rahe ho aaj hum bana nahi rahe hain aaj hum likh nahi pa rahe hain lekin hamare gaane to aap sun rahe ho to agar aap sun rahe ho to uska ek hissa humko milna chahiye uska jo aap pay kar rahe ho kisi ko that should come to us so that we have the last 10 years of our lives sorted and are not you know uh, living in absolute poverty and struggling kitne hum dekhte hain aksar hota hai ki har saal mein ek do baar hota hai jahan pe hum log funds raise kar rahe hote hain kisi artist ke liye kisi lyrics writer ke liye kisi actor ke liye to ye bada uh, us tarah se bhi zaruri hai it is in a way it is the moral responsibility of the society to to make sure that artists don't die in poverty or you know don't die for the lack of health care in the when they stop working aapne kaam kiya ho zindagi bhar aapke jaane ke baad bhi aaj bhi matlab guzarne is 30 saal baad bhi hum log to unhi ke deewane hain aur unhi ko sun rahe hain so it should not be ki wo artist hamesha dil toot jaye aur jab wo mare aisa na ho matlab us toote dil se na mare koi also you know according to report india is currently the second largest streaming market Uh, when it comes to on demand streaming uh, what okay. audio and video do you suggest music as a career option today considering the rise and the way the way music is consumed today uh, on various platforms yes sort of platform? absolutely and what a lot of these uh, platforms have done uh, is they have given space a way more democratic space to new artists every month at least i think we discover a new artist who was impossible to discover 10 years ago you know artists who are sometimes hip hop artists sometimes they are not even from india like there is this song jo bahut famous hai uh, tu hai kahan 
जो कि स्पॉटिफाई और सब जगह चार्ट्स में टॉप में पहुंच गया और वो इट्स फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान एंड वहाँ का भी कोई वो बहुत बड़ा बैंड नहीं था वन ऑफ द यू नो इंडी ग्रुप्स और वो बहुत बड़ा हो गया और इंडिया में भी अभी अनूप जैन इज वन सक्सेस स्टोरी वो न्यू अनूप जैन लाइक प्रॉबली फाइव मंथ्स अगो आई थिंक नो वन न्यू एंड जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द पावर ऑफ दैट वन सॉन्ग एंड द वे this system is built now in a way more democratic manner where it's not showing you just the top musician and the big budget films it is showing you all the music and you can if you start listening to it more it keeps going like it keeps getting spread out and people start discovering through instagram music is such a huge thing now yes ab meri film aa rahi hai is hafte to we were so stressed about सब जगह म्यूजिक आना चाहिए इंस्टाग्राम म्यूजिक पे सबसे पहले आ जाना चाहिए ताकि लोग रिमिक्स करना चाहे कोई उसको प्ले करना चाहे अपने वीडियो के ऊपर स्टोरी के ऊपर तो बड़ा जरूरी है सो दीज न्यू एवेन्यूज हैव कम अप सो डेफिनेटली अ वेरी गुड टाइम फॉर आर्टिस्ट फॉर यंग न्यू आर्टिस्ट टू टू एक्सप्लोर एंड ऑल्सो टू डू समथिंग न्यू इंस्टेड ऑफ डू समथिंग विच इज ऑलरेडी हैपनिंग क्योंकि जो आप कर जो लोग कर चुके हैं आप वही रिपीट करोगे तो वो मुश्किल है आपका टू बी टू बी स्टैंडिंग आउट एंड टू बी डिस्कवर्ड सो इट इज आल्सो एन इंसेंटिव टू कीप डूइंग न्यू स्टफ एंड जैसे हिप हॉप आया उसे मतलब जब आया वो डिवाइन एंड रफ्तार और जो भी तीन चार हमारे टॉप पे काम भारी काफी सारे आए तो वो इट वॉज अ न्यू साउंड दैट्स वाई इट गॉट अभी एपी ढिल्लो जो आया है एपी ढिल्लो का अगेन एपी ढिल्लो इज वेरी न्यू साउंड इट्स वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर पंजाबी म्यूजिक वी वर लिसनिंग टू एपी ढिल्लो करण ओजला इज अ बिग डिस्ट्रक्टर या फिर हां करण ओजला है फिर अभी वो सावी कहलो आया तो उसने वो कार में बजा के अपने जो गाना है देखा होगा आपने वीडियो ही इज प्लेइंग इट इन द कार एंड ही इज जस्ट सिंगिंग अलोंग कार में उसने बीट चलाया एंड द फर्स्ट वीडियो ही पुट वाज फ्रॉम द कार जस्ट फोन पे रिकॉर्ड किया दैट गॉट सम टेन ट्वेल्व मिलियन हिट्स देन ही रिकॉर्डेड इन द स्टूडियो देन ही पुट अनदर वन विच इज नाउ थर्टी टू मिलियन और आप फेर मिलेंगे वो गाना जो है उसका इट्स अनरियल लाइक सावी कह लो अगेन नो वन न्यू सावी कह लो एंड नाउ ही इज लाइक सच अ ह्यूज स्टार एफ ढिलो द टेक्नो बीट ही गॉट बैक लाइक सडनली वो एटीज का टेक्नो बीट लेके आया so lot of this is a very exciting time i'm very like i'm constantly looking for new music aur har roz kuch naya mil jata hai so mazedar hai you know main music ke bare mein aur baat karunga but before that you know earlier or last year we saw hollywood shutting down because of the writers strike yeah you think india we are we do we have such a unity and can our writers also demand equal pay and can we then can they go to a length of doing a strike आई थिंक करना चाहिए और आई थिंक यहाँ है यूनिटी इट्स जस्ट दैट स्ट्राइक इज ऑलवेज द लास्ट ऑप्शन नो वन वॉन्ट्स नो वन वॉन्ट्स टू यू नो क्रिएट दैट काइंड ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ एंगर इन पीपल वी वुड आई मीन वी आर ट्राइंग मल्टीपल वेज ऑल द बॉडीज एस डब्ल्यू ए एंड आई पी आर एस एंड एम सी ए आई सारे मिल के अपने तरह से हम लोग डिमांड रख रहे हैं वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक अ मॉडल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विच एवरी वन हैज टू फॉलो एंड देर हैज टू बी मिनिमम फीस फॉर द राइटर्स फॉर द लिरिक्स राइटर्स एक कम से कम ये हो कि बेसिक एक जो बेसिक मिनिमम गारंटी होती है कि इतना आपको मिलेगा ही उसको ही आपको एक्सप्लॉयट नहीं कर सकता कि फ्री में लिखवा लिया या पाँच हजार में गाना लिखवा लिया या उस तरह का काम हो तो वो हो रहा है एंड आई होप बातचीत से ही बात सुलझ जाए जहाँ पे ये ना करना पड़े कि अच्छा हमको पहले धमकी देनी पड़ेगी हम स्ट्राइक करेंगे फिर स्ट्राइक करनी पड़े बट थियोरेटिकली यस देर इज इनफ यूनिटी एंड थियोरेटिकली इवन इफ नॉट द इंटायर इंडस्ट्री गोज ऑन स्ट्राइक ओके एटलीस्ट द मोस्ट एक्टिव थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द राइटर्स हु आर डूइंग यू नो बिग प्रोजेक्ट इफ दे यूनाइट एंड दे से हम नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि ठीक है हमारा हक हमको मिल रहा है ज्यादातर जो स्टैब्लिश राइटर्स हैं वो उन उनके साथ कोई धोखा करता नहीं है बहुत कम होता है होता किसके साथ है एक्सप्लाइटेशन होता है नए राइटर्स के साथ तो हमारा हमारी जिम्मेदारी है कि उनके लिए लड़ें और उनके लिए लड़ने के लिए 
हम उनको बोले कि ठीक है तुम काम करते रहो तुम स्ट्राइक पे मत जाओ अगर तुमको बहुत ज्यादा तुम्हारा अभी स्ट्रगल चल रहा है पहला प्रोजेक्ट है तुम स्ट्राइक पे जाओगे तुमको निकाल दिया जाएगा कि मैं मेरा पांचवा प्रोजेक्ट है या मैं कोई ऐसी काम कर रहा हूँ जहां पे कि मेरे मना करने से प्रोडक्शन हाउस को फर्क पड़ेगा तो एटलीस्ट सम ऑफ अस शुड यूनाइट एंड आई नो कि वो यूनिटी है वो यूनिटी लाना मुश्किल भी नहीं है और वो यूनिटी ऑलरेडी है जितनी भी हमारी बातचीत हो रही है पिछले छह आठ महीने से वी ऑल आर काइंड ऑफ नाउ गेरिंग अप टूवर्ड्स आस्किंग फॉर मोर राइट एंड डब्ल्यू जी एस ट्राइक हैज गिवेन अस लॉट ऑफ होप एंड लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी कि हाँ हम भी उस तरह से लड़ सकते हैं स्ट्राइक अगेन आई एम सेइंग इज द लास्ट ऑप्शन बट उम्मीद है उससे पहले हो जाएगा बट कुछ ना कुछ होगा जल्दी ही you know do you think uh, correct to say while we have many singers and many music composers we still need more lyrics writers do you agree uh mujhe lagta hai ki we still need more uh, more writers of all sorts yes kyunki kahaniyan aur nayi voices bahut zaruri hoti hain hamesha kisi bhi kahani ka kisi bhi film ki grounding rahe wo kahani hai kis theme pe hai kis jagah se hai kis tarah ke kirdar hain kaun sa samay hai usme और गानों में भी वही है कि हमको खास करके इंडिया में विदेश में सब तरह के गाने होते हैं जिसमें लिरिक्स कई बार उतने इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं होते हैं दे आर मोर अबाउट द साउंड द म्यूजिक ऑफ इट द वॉइसेज और यू नो द वाइब ऑफ इट बट इंडिया में हमेशा से कल्चर ये रहा है कि हमारे गाने जो हैं उसमें सबसे टॉप लेयर एक्चुअली टू अट्रैक्ट पीपल इज द लिरिक्स हम लोग बहुत वो हमारा क्या कहते हैं कल आप गाना लिरिक्स से याद रखते हैं बिल्कुल हम वी आर वायर्ड दैट वे एंड वी हैव ग्रोन अप दैट वे वेर आर सॉन्ग आर वेरी स्पेसिफिक टू आर कस्टम्स एंड वेरी स्पेसिफिक टू द एज ऑफ लाइफ एंड डे टाइम ऑफ डे बहुत सारी चीजें जो शब्दों से हम पता लगाते हैं कि किस तरह का गाना है तो उस हिसाब से भी वी नीड मोर लिरिक्स राइटर्स बिकॉज वो डाइवर्सिटी अभी भी एक्सप्लोर नहीं हुई है हमारी जितनी डाइवर्सिटी हमारे कल्चर में हमारे फोक म्यूजिक में है उतनी डाइवर्सिटी अभी पॉप म्यूजिक में या हिंदी फिल्म सॉन्ग में उतनी डाइवर्सिटी नहीं दिखती है दिखती है लेकिन जितनी दिखती है मेरे को लगता है उससे कई बीस गुना ज्यादा डाइवर्सिटी आ सकती है और उसके लिए नई वॉइसेस नए नए राइटर्स की बहुत जरूरत है एंड आई होप लाइक विद दिस इंडिपेंडेंट new phase of independent music being celebrated i hope that also comes